myself Adu Jubin. Now we are about to have an overview of the Stack data structure. Consider this file of planes. When I want to place a new plate, it can be placed at the top of the pipe. Any other placement of the plate may result in disintegration of the structure or the arrangement. The stack is analogous to a pile of plates. Plates can be kept or taken only from the top of the pipe. Similarly, in case of stack, the elements can be inserted or deleted at the top only. Now, let us see. A few terminologies related to stack data structure. Stack is basically a linear data structure which infer that the traversal can be done only in a linear fashion. An insertion operation is termed push and a deletion operation is termed pop. All the above set operations are effective only at the top. Let us have a short demonstration over the operations in a stack. Consider the stack stone key, which has three partitions, of which are represented using dotted lines. This stack can hold three elements. A stack can't be without the top. Since the stack is empty, the top is insulated to minus one. When we initialize a push operation, the stack will be initialized to zero. Let us push an element 10 into the stack. Now the top will move to 10 and indicates 1. Let's push another element 20 and the top becomes 2. And then 30. Now the top becomes 3. No more elements can be further inserted into this stack. This is called a stack overflow condition. Now let us consider a pop operation. The pop always affects the top, which may result in expulsion of 30 from the stack. And now the top comes down to 2. Now let us see the applications of stack. Stack is used for inputs to postfix conversion, balancing equations, reversing strings, and to solve the Tower of Hanoi problem. Thank you.